Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play by this style yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you're a beginner or an intermediate player, these random pulls can really help build your confidence with decision making. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. I'm going to say that we're going to be the dealer. So I'm going to take 14 random tiles. There they are. And then I'm going to build a mock Charleston. For American style, there's a passing of Charleston tiles. You get three passes up to six times. There's more about that in that lesson playlist. So there are the Charleston passes. I think I need one more. Right across, left, left across, right. Okay. Whoopsies. Let's see what we have to work with. Dragons. Look at those dragons. Six, white, red. Okay. That's not helpful because the sixes can be used with reds or they could be used with whites in two different scenarios. I think. Um, I would keep the nine. Maybe we could play a three, six, nine with reds and keep these for joker bait. I'm thinking maybe we could play a year hand and use these as joker bait. That's probably more likely. Let's get rid of these three. Here we go. You got to exchange the jokers. Can't keep jokers. Okay, it looks like the year category is coming in here. Look at all these dragons. And there's a year. We could play the big, big, big hand. Look. Right there. The big pair hand. The last one on the card under singles and pairs. Let's give these up right here. Flower, pass, one, right, across, left, we're stopping the Charleston. We have two tiles to pass and we, we are, let's see here. We need a seven crack and a green dragon to win the biggest card, the biggest hand on the card. We're going to pass one blind in the optional cross. And I know there's nothing in here, but let's go ahead and do it. Yep, discards. Two away from the big hand. The big, big year hand. Isn't that pretty? We need a seven crack. And a green dragon. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's do another one. We're going to see where the dealer. There's our tiles. And now let's create a mock Charleston. This is not an exact science. It's not going to be exactly like it would be in a game, but it's just really good practice. Practice your decision making, building your confidence. That's the purpose of this exercise. We have flowers, lots and lots of cracks.
four, five, six, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, big odds. If we're playing big odds, let's keep the big odds. Let's pass these three. Oh my goodness. Would you ever pass something like that? I hope not. That's craziness. Let's go ahead and break that up. Let's pass these three. Flower. Five crack. Five, seven, nine. We only need two flowers, I think. Yeah, we don't need this, really. So, let's pass these three. Ooh, there's a three. Maybe we could play one, three, five, seven, nine. Let's keep it. Why not? Let's pass these three. There's a three. Let's pass these three. Nine, five. Okay, now we've got four flowers. Five, seven, nine. We're on last right. We only need two flowers for the five, seven, nine hand. Let's pass two blind because I do not want to pass a pair and I do not want to pass a flower. We're going to pass two blind. Three dot. So for optional cross, I want one because I'm not going to pass a pair and I'm not going to pass any flowers. That is just really risky. Flowers are used in several hands per category, and like numbers is just as bad as passing a pair. Not a good idea. We're just going to take one. Ha! <laughs> Joker bait and Joker bait. You know, we could even really keep the three, and if we get a one crack, we could play the one, three, five, seven, nine hand. Let's just see here. Yeah, so I would start by discarding flowers. We're in between the, the very first one, three, five, seven, nine hand. If we get a one crack, I might even switch to that. Okay, let's do this one more time. Okay, last one. Let's see what we got. Six, eight. Get up there. Okay, here's six, seven, eight. Three, six, seven, eight. Let's get rid of the north and the five and the three. Let's do some kind of a either consecutive or three or. Um, or two, four, six, eight. Let's get rid of these three and see what happens. Okay, discards. Hmm. Three, six, three, six. Three, six, three, six, nine. But those are not nines, they're eights. Let's get rid of them. Ooh, there's an eight. Seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. We want to leverage these sixes. Six, seven, eight with sevens in the middle. Six, seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. All eights. Okay. We have to decide because I don't want to pass like numbers. That's like passing a pair. Not a good idea. Six, seven, eight, eights. 
maybe eights, all eights, joker bait. Let's get rid of these three. Three, four. Three, four, six, seven, eight. Maybe two, four, six, eight. Let's get rid of. Okay. Maybe two, four, six, eight. Maybe we should get rid of that seven dot and play two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Let's keep the eights and pass these three. I really don't like passing the white dragon, but we're kind of in a tough situation here. There's one and seven for maybe something consecutive. I don't know. Let's pass those. Get rid of that joker. Six dot. Okay. <laughs> Did I get rid of a, oh, here we go, four dot. Okay, so let's pass, let's get rid of the eights. There, let's pass these three, an optional cross. Nothing. So if I were to have to pick a hand, I would pick the very first two, four, six, eight hand, four flowers, two dot, which is missing, four dot, six dot, eight dot, we can Kong that, this is ready to go. We really just need a flower and a two dot. We have five discards. Let me know what you think about those random pulls. If you haven't tried this yet and you have a set at home, get it out and give this a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe, then click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any strategy or insights that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for American style using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.